Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today, I'm gonna to be picking those. They are radishes. These are French breakfast radishes. <laughs> and I planted these on November 28th, I believe was the date. And I did a video on that, and I'll, I'll link that at the end of the video and down below in the description section so you guys can check out the video of me planting here. But I think I planted these on November 28th, and today is December 26th, the day after Christmas. Because of Christmas and everything, I got a little busy and sidetracked, and I didn't harvest these in enough time. 31 days is quite a bit later. They're supposed to be 23 days. So I might get some extra large size ones and we'll see how they taste. They might end up be, being woody. Look, I'm woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Aha, aha, give me that. From what I read that if they go too long, they can get kind of woody and spicy. So we'll see how they are. I'm gonna go ahead and pick them. It is time for those. And then also these are the cherry bells and those are 28 day. So they're also a little late. So we'll see how they go. All right, I got my trusty colander here that I usually use to harvest them. And boy, those didn't turn out at all. Some of them might not. So there we go. There's a decent French breakfast radish. None of those. That's interesting. We got one there. So I'm going to set aside some of these others that are not, that nothing happened with to give to the chickens. I don't know what this is all about. Maybe I planted them too close together. Two of those turned out okay. Oh shoot, you know what? <laughs> All right, so I think I was picking up, yeah. Turnip. That's why some of those never, nothing happened because they were turnip. That's these, nothing because turnip. Your head's a turnip. <laughs> oh boy guys all right these this is a row i got two here two rows of the french breakfasts i was harvesting my turnip way before they were ready i put a lot of compost in this bed which actually can hinder growth it's possible that these aren't gonna all come out real good it's two of them some of these are still going to be chicken radishes but i always give these to my chickens and they're already over there calling because they know it's coming. They love it. There's some decent ones right there. All right, so I didn't get the harvest I was expecting. I'm going to be honest. A lot less than I thought and smaller than I thought. Um, I was expecting these to get real big and like I said, they can get woody. It is 30 days and these are quick growing. They're supposed to be 24 day, I think, 23 day. And unfortunately, I did pick some of my turnips, which are a lot longer. The turnips take quite a bit longer to be able to be harvestable. Oh well, let's see how these cherry bells are. Now that those were picked, I'm, I'm a little nervous to pick these. I think these need a little more time, I'm gonna be honest. So I thought I was gonna be picking both, being 31 days. All these I'm gonna to give to the chickens, kind of making me wonder if it really was 31 days. I thought I did the math right on that. Either way, it's definitely over 24. And there should be 24 days, so I'm not sure why all those didn't really make it any size. Maybe just too close together. At least the chickens get to eat some. All right, I'm gonna pull off all the tops and we can see exactly what the harvest is. You know, I'm, I'm kind of new to all this, guys. I mean, I've already had quite a few harvests of these little French breakfast radishes, and they all seem to do really well, but this didn't, so I'm not sure what this is about. More to the chickens. I love this stuff. This is why I love the colander. There we go. Not too bad, but not a great harvest, guys. But still, not bad. These will be real good to eat in the next couple days with some salads. Well guys, I really thought I would be getting quite a bit more of these French breakfast radishes and I thought today I would be able to harvest these baby bells as well. But I'm gonna let those go a couple more days, maybe up to a week longer and see how they do. And then we'll come back and check those out. But this is what I got. It's not terrible, but it's about half of what I thought I would get. A couple days ago, I picked one just randomly in the middle 
and it was really good size. It was like that size, if not bigger. So I thought for sure all these would be really good, but a lot of turned out to be real small, too small to eat. So all like this, you know, it is what it is. You live, you learn, you try again, try different things, see what works. And, you know, I'm going to be honest. I think it is that they were way too close together. I'm going to come through and I'm going to thin out some of these plants a little more, especially these turnips. I got some carrots here that need to be thinned out as well in the next couple of days. I'll bring you guys back. Stay tuned. I should be able to make a video in the next week or so on these radishes here. So the baby bells, but there we go. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.